Over the last couple of days, I've had this burning desire to get my life in order, like to a new level of organization. From the office, to my car, from looking at my routine once baby Apple arrives, my exercise plans, food, everything. I've just got this like almost like neurotic condition that's just taken over my brain. Anyway, it's seven weeks until baby Apple arrives. However, I have a feeling that baby Apple will come a little bit earlier. And when I first found out I was pregnant that the IVF was successful, I started applying this belly oil, which is made, I think, of avocado oil. Also putting over my body, Co Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Oil. Now, when I bought these, I said to myself, the moment these start to get low and run out, you'll have your baby. And you can see they're running really low. This is the weekend for me to just get my life in order. So this is a vlog I'm gonna make with you as I go around my home and just tidy, organize, look at my routines, look at my food, get my life in order. So I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk because they are absolutely busting to go for a walk. And um, I'm gonna, you're gonna come around my house and watch me um, go through this neurotic decluttering, reorganizing, culling um, process. I hope you enjoy. So as I go through the house, decluttering, tidying, reorganizing, anything that I come across that I can sell on the secondhand economy, I'm putting together in this pile over here. So hopefully this will get bigger throughout the weekend and I'll have some good things to sell for round four of the thousand dollar project. So I have these offcuts of carpet around the house. I don't need them, but the problem is I have nowhere to store them. So and any bit of storage space I need for this new baby. So I've got some garbage bags. I'm gonna bag them up and I'm actually gonna put them into the roof of the house. And if I ever move from the house, I can let the new owners know that if they ever need carpet offcuts, that's where they're stored. I have even cleaned all my makeup brushes, nice and fresh. It is Saturday night, it's not even 8 p.m. and Giuseppe and I are already in bed. So I'm using this time to like clear my inboxes, unsubscribe from websites, subscribe from to websites that I want to, any of my like notifications or automatic de default uploads, anything IT thing that has been annoying me or irritating me, I am fixing and sorting right now. I am literally washing everything and anything from the blankets on the sofa to um, the blinds in our bedroom. Um, even like the dog beds are gonna get washed. Like the whole house is getting a serious cleanse. Next thing is new smoke alarms. My smoke alarms have been playing up. The batteries have been replaced, but they keep on sort of beeping incessantly. So I've just gone and bought some new smoke detectors. The only problem is I can't actually install them myself because they need to be screwed into the wall, which involves using a screwdriver, which I don't own or even trust myself using if I did own one. So I'm gonna to have to get a handyman. I'm gonna book a handyman today. Even my chandeliers are getting a good clean, just a cloth with hot soapy water, and they actually look so much nicer. It's actually amazing how much dust and dirt and cobwebs accumulate in his chandeliers. I'm even cleaning out the fridge of food that's gone off or about to go off, and I'm gonna give it a really good thorough wipe down. I'm actually washing out my salad containers because they were like full of bits of dirt and uh, who knows what. But what I'm gonna do is the water that I use to clean these, I'm gonna put on my garden so nothing gets wasted at all. All right, so another thing that I'm doing to get really organized is I'm making sure when I go through the fridge, everything, all the labels are facing me so it looks really neat and organized. I'm like grouping all the sauces together, all the alcohol together, not that there's that much alcohol in my fridge, bottled water, like milk, everything's gonna be like neatly organized with labels facing the front. Last chandelier, and this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Some really tricky, intricate pieces that really have collected so much dust, dirt, and cobwebs. So behind me is Tom's wardrobe. Now this is actually really tidy and really organized and that is because I paid a professional to come through and help me out with this because this was an absolute mess it was foul and there, I just didn't even know where to start I was completely overwhelmed so the good thing about this is now is it, it's got order it's got a sense of like I can see things and now I'm going to go through and work out all the things that don't fit him all the things that are worn out or damaged have holes and get rid of them
how much better is this looking already? So what I did was I removed the golf clubs and I'm going to find a new home for them. So I've created so much space in this wardrobe. And now Tom's shoes cannot be stacked on top of each other, which actually damages the shoes. But they are sitting a lot neater down here. Also, I've put all the clothes on the same matching coat hangers. My favourite black velvet ones, which are super skinny. And they allow you to make the most of a really tight space, which this is. Also, I've put all the common items together. So all the shirts are together from light um, all the way through to dark. The same with the suits, all of them the same matching coat hangers from light to dark. Same with Tom's pants. And then I can see here there is um, potential duplicates that I will discuss with Tom when he gets back from Melbourne. He's got all his um, racing jackets. He actually gets up really early in the morning, goes to work to um, watch the horses trot up and then here, because all the, all the ties were scattered throughout the drawers, we've put them all like this. So much neater and so much more organised. But the best thing about this now is everything was so squashed together and it was starting to make things crumpled. Now there's actually space. You can quickly and easily find things. They're not like packed in together, making it hard. It looks so much nicer. Now I want to show you these drawers. I didn't do these drawers. As I said, I had a professional who did this for me, but check out this. Like seriously, like... Marie Kondo style. Look at all his shirts. Like seriously spoiled. Tom is going to be read the riot act. If he messes this up, which I'm sure he will, he will be in so much trouble. Look at all his pants. Like incredible. And I've been a bit naughty. I put these jumpers on because I'm hoping Tom will get rid of them. But she's put all his belts together neatly in here. I've covered these up because I'm hoping Tom might be interested in maybe culling a few because there's a sort of few duplicates and things that are worn out. Anything I've found that we can get rid of, I will be encouraging Tom to sell on the second-hand economy, like this horrible, horrendous suit that I don't know what he was thinking when he bought. I don't think I could look at him seriously in the eye if he wore this. So when he gets back from Melbourne, I'm going to gently suggest we sell it. Also, these coat hangers are going back to my dry cleaner. Um, it is so important that we reduce our wastage so these can be reused. Now, as I explained, um, I've had these rolled up off cuts of carpet sitting in the hallway, driving me nuts for about six months now. And I bag them up. And when the handyman comes this week, I'm going to politely ask him if he can help me get these stored away properly into the roof hole, which is just sitting there, creating more space and more tidiness in my home. It feels so good and so invigorating. Next stop is now my wardrobe. This is actually probably going to be the fastest and quickest job of all because I keep it pretty meticulously organized, but you never know. Things put in the wrong spot, quickly fixable. I have so many odd socks. It's incredible. Like, where do they go? Beach wear, swimmers, active wear. Feels really good. Oh, I've been looking for that. Matching. All right, let me show you. So I like to keep my wardrobe really organized so I can get dressed in a hurry and know that if I get dressed in a hurry, I look presentable to a certain degree. So I put all my items in grouped categories. So I have here all my swimmers, bikinis, sarongs, denim cutoffs, things that I would wear in summer to the beach. Then in the next pile here, I have all my basic t-shirts. So I love just a classic cut. And they're all neatly folded, stacked up on top of each other so I can see them in a hurry. And then the final group that I have in this drawer is my active wear. A lot of jumpers, leggings, crop tops to the leggings because I love um, matching things. And everything kind of works together. So even if I do mix it up, it's still going to look smart, like reasonably attractive. And then in my jumper closet, I've got my jumpers neatly folded up. Um, I do like a staircase system so I can see the colours and what jumpers exist in there in a hurry. Now this has been quite good because it's made me realize I am a little bit short on jumpers and I have been seeing, eyeing off this um, bright hot pink jumper on the outnet, which I really want to go and buy. And I realized this morning, it's my birthday next Sunday in seven days. So I think when I finish today, like sorting out the house, I'm gonna reward myself and that will be my birthday present to myself. And I can see that it can very easily fit into this drawer 
without like taking up too much space and cluttering my wardrobe. So just like for Tom's wardrobe, everything is on the same skinny velvet black coat hanger. I go or group items together, so all the shirts together, all the pants together, all the skirts together, and I go from light to dark. All my handbags are listed here and up the top as well. So this is actually looking pretty well sorted and to help make space, little things like this, um, which I've had up for a while to hang hats and other handbags really helps. So between Tom, Rocco and I, we have so many pairs of odd socks. So if I don't find the matching pairs um, by the end of today, these are going to become cleaning cloths for my house. Now, this is another cupboard that I actually got professional help with because I was just, again, too overwhelmed, just didn't know where to start. But we've organized all Rocco's clothes. Everything's neatly folded in order. You can see everything and we've freed up the space so we can now keep his toys packed away for him to play with. They're not sitting out and like create wasting space at all. I love this. How much better does this look? I've got all my vitamins with the labels facing front grouped together, all sources grouped together, labels facing front, bottles of water and wine, and all my sources organized neatly together, labels facing front. And this is nice and clean. Don't worry, I'm gonna do some shopping because this is a lot emptier than what it normally is but so much neater. I'm really proud of myself for doing this. So to create some extra storage space, I pulled things out of storage. So I had this really nice vase kind of candelabra thing. And so I decided instead of having it hiding away in the cupboard, I'd bring it out. So I brought it back into my bedroom and I've created like a color pattern where I've gone like cream, black and white, cream, black and white. So it actually looks really nice. I'll, I'll pull back and show you, hang on. Also, I ended up deciding to throw these out. These really irritate me. I know they're dividers for the fridge, but what am I going to divide in my fridge? So they're just wasteful and frustrating. They're going into the bin. I've just ordered a whole pile of wipes and nappies, so I'm getting really organized for baby Apple. I have got Apple's crib now in our bedroom. This is getting really serious. I've got a pram downstairs ready to roll. I'm organizing a car seat tomorrow. I have a baby rocker. I'm pretty there. Now I just need to go through the wardrobe. So some of this I did a while ago when I was sorting through the only things that I have left for baby stuff, which is some of Rocco's baby clothes. I didn't think I'd have another baby. So um, this is Rocco's old stuff. So I need to go through it. It's actually not too badly organized, but I need to make sure I've got all the triple zero and quadruple zero and newborn clothes all grouped together. So I know exactly what is going to fit this baby. And also I realized I've only got like a couple of blankets. I need to go and order some new ones. And I really want to try and get some nice, something really warm because this baby's going to be born in the middle of winter and it's starting to get really cold here. I'm actually so glad that I did this. I was worried I didn't have new newborn clothes, but actually I've got plenty. What I don't have is many blankets, muslins, and I don't have anything between three and six months. At least I know when I go to the shops what I need to be ordering and I won't be getting duplicates. Next stop is my hospital bag. Wow, this is really serious stuff. I can't remember what you put in a hospital bag, but I have packed um, some clothes for baby Apple, whether it be a boy or a girl some extra layers. I've got a towel for myself. I will pack my lovely white fluffy dressing gown closer to the time. Now these are underwear that you wear when you have your period and it means you don't have to wear pads or tampons so they're better for the environment. It's got like a built-in pad system. They're amazing so I'm packing those as well. I guess I'll grab my toiletries closer to the time and some extra clothes but I can't think of like what else. Oh obviously nappies and wipes things like that. I can't think what else I need to be packing this bag. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. So I'm almost done. This is the last task. I'm steam cleaning all my upholstered furniture. So this is just a hand steamer that you can get. This was a Cambrook one. I think it was like $50, but it's so good. They just like releases so much steam. And I'm going to steam my dining chairs and my sofa and my armchair and my ottoman. Now, I think 
I'm finished. Um, the house is looking so tidy, but it's feeling really organized. And I'm feeling like I'm back on top of things again. And I'm prepared if Apple comes early. And what I'm doing now, just as my one last thing, is looking at my routine and about how it's gonna change and I need to adjust when Apple arrives. So to prioritize my well-being, my, my mental health and self-love, I've put together on a whiteboard just some things to remind myself that are important that will contribute to my well-being. So I've put in here three to four exercise sessions per week. Now I haven't said gym sessions because they're gonna be days where I don't make it to the gym because I'm too tired or I've had a bad day. And that just might be taking the dogs and Apple for a, a long walk in the park. That is fine. Also my ocean dips, making sure that I get my head into the ocean, even if it's only for like a minute or 30 seconds, that is really important to me because that kind of like washes away any stresses or anxiety that I have. Next is making sure I meditate at least two times per week as a minimum. Um, making sure that I get seven to eight hours of sleep per day. I'm someone where the wheels fall off if I don't get enough sleep, but I'm actually a really bad sleeper. If I have a bad night, try and encourage myself to put my head down and relax for an afternoon nap or to try and catch up like a sleep session somewhere so I can at least try and get close to seven to eight hours a day. And then making sure that I have, as per my GP's recommendations, at least 30 minutes a day alone time. Now that can obviously be when Apple's asleep and that's fine, but just sitting there having a cup of tea, not, you know, watching something on television, not doing work on my laptop, not making phone calls, not on Instagram, just sitting and having some chilled out time on my own. And then down here, I've just listed a couple of things I need to prioritize and make sure are done on both Fridays and Sundays. So the Friday things that I need to do are to make sure that I end the week with everything being checked, particularly around little bits of things for my work and my business. And then Sunday, investing some time to make sure that I get planned and prepared for the week ahead. I have food in the fridge. I've got my exercise scheduled in. I'm on top of my washing and my emails. You know what, I'm gonna put this back in the laundry and I'm now gonna go and reward myself with that jumper.